Vladivostok with the Russian fleet behind me. Well, I assume it's some of the Russian fleet, I can't imagine it's all of it. It's quite a hilly town, I didn't expect it to be this hilly, but it is. And massive big bridge. So rubbish ride here yesterday, it rained all the way very badly, um, which was fine except for Russian roadworks involved digging up the road completely and leaving you to find your own way on a muddy, sandy, diesely pothole track, which the main road between Kavarovsk and Vladivostok isn't much fun. So the hotel's fairly basic, but uh, it'll do for a couple of nights. Uh, just been into the ticket office in this building here which is where the DBS ferry company ticket offices and it's closed today it's his Sunday after all um, all the other shops are open all the um, trinket shops and lots of Japanese tourists because the boat comes from Japan direct to here so um, strangely they were looking at all the phones and tablets and stuff so I don't know whether they're cheaper here than in Japan I find that hard to believe if they are but hey you never know so yeah Vladivostok um, my last destination in Russia. So, just got to sort out the ferry, sorted. I've read, as usual, on the internet, lots of things about how difficult it is and all the rest of it, but we'll take it as we find it. Um, my ferry doesn't leave till Wednesday, so it's Monday tomorrow, so I've got a couple of days to sort things out. I've already got a booking on the ferry, so it should be relatively soon. I think the difficulty comes with the Russian customs so uh, what documentation they need and everything. Just ridden the bike down here from the hotel to find a place and it's got some um, squeaks and bumps and bumps going on. It's taken a bit of a hammering over the past week or two. Um, so I think once I get out of here, I've got to spend a bit of time just giving it a good thorough going over. If I can find tires, I need tires in Korea. I'm hopeful that in Korea I'll be able to get parts for it. It's Kawasaki. Kawasaki's so got a factory in Korea as far as I'm aware, so I'm hopeful I'll be able to find bike parts and bike spares, but anyway, going on about a bike and we Vladivostok. I mean Vladivostok. I mean how mad is that? I mean I've ridden the bike to Vladivostok. I can't believe it. It's just crazy. I've ridden halfway around the world on my little motorbike. Which is just mad. Anyway, for now, that'll do. There's a load of um, Japanese tourists just turned up, so. And a guide with a speaker. <laughs> so, boat just leaving harbour. Russian sub in the background, I'm sure it's not their latest model. Amusing sight of the day, just seeing a Russian guy wearing stars and stripes in Vladivostok. <laughs> How the world changes. Well, no big dramas, a few bit of paperwork, some money to pay out, um, but really, I've paid for my shipping, I've paid for my ticket. Uh, I had to pay customs fees and I thought I'd pay a loaning fee, uh, but <laughs> it was no big deal. Um, so bike's all here, somewhere, there, new front tyre on. Um, so the ferry's in, there she is. Um, just sorted out the shipping, so I've got to deliver the bike to customs at 9am tomorrow morning. And I won't see it again until uh, it's unloaded, so I don't get to take it onto the ship myself. It gets loaded, which I've got to pay for, but hey. And then I'll be on this little baby on the boat to Korea, which on uh, Wednesday morning. So we're all booked, we're all paid, paperwork done, um, and we're good to go.